Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create a lessons learned video in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. A lessons learned video is a great way to document your team's progress and highlight the successes and failures of your project. It can also be used as a training tool for those who may need to tackle a similar project in the future. By following these simple steps, you can create an engaging, informative video that will help your team learn from their mistakes and achieve greater success in the future. In today's example, we're going to pretend we're part of a nonprofit group who just completed a fundraising bingo night. So first, you're going to need to gather your team and have everyone answer these three questions. What went well? What didn't go well? And what could we have done differently? Once you have everyone's feedback, it's time to start planning your video. You may have noticed that I'm kind of using this, this black box with white text. So I think I want to do that across all three, you know, all of the scenes. So let me go ahead and copy this black bar. This is just a black rectangle that I imported and paste it into place here. I'm going to put it behind the text. And of course, you can't see the text because it's also black. So you click it click the gear icon and change its color to white and click apply. And this is my overview scene. I am going to use photos of the actual event rather than doodly characters today. So let me just go ahead and start from scratch. Let's go to props and let's import some graphics. These are some of the photos from the event. I'm using stock photos, but you know, we're pretending these are photos I took at the event. And there's 11 of them. I'm not going to use all of them. I just have some here that are extra and we'll just see what works. And I thought it would be fun to start with this little couple here. So if I go down here to the microphone tab and click this little plus sign, I can start talking about this. We held our Acme Bingo fundraiser night on March 1st, 2022, and it was a great night, but we do have some lessons that we want to share with you for future events. Okay, that's fine. I was just kind of winging it, but I think that'll work. And you'll see my voiceover track here is longer than my seat, so we need to make our timing adjustments. I would like to have my couple here come on as a fade. So I click the pencil icon and I'm choosing fade right here. That way they'll fade on. And we may want to put the date here. Okay, so let's go to text. And I was using for my font this one. So I'm going to take this Conant Medium and I'm just going to type in the date. And then maybe we say how much we raised, right? Because this is for future people. So they want to have a sense, you know, is it worth it to do it again? Okay. So that's looking pretty good. And timing wise, we're getting there. I'm gonna add a couple seconds at the very end, 2.5, let's make it a little longer, let's try four. And there we have it, we have our introduction. So let's go to number two. In our example, we had a great turnout and the raffle was really popular. So that's what we're gonna talk about. So again, I'm gonna use some of my photos and for our great turnout, let's have these, this happy crowd here, the happy people, right? and some text. What went well? Well, great turnout. Let's tell them how many people so that when they're planning the next time, they know that, okay, 220 people is a good goal, okay? Call them players. And then let's just do something to signify you know, a basket, a rifle basket. And that's gonna be fine. Let's see, we're gonna have this again, I'd like it to fade on. I, I'm not fond of the scribble effect, you know, the default. So you go here and you just turn it to fade. And then we're gonna wanna say what, what went well, what didn't go well. And again, my timing on the screen might not match my voice. We'll adjust it after I do it. So we go down here. What went well? Well, we had an amazing turnout of 220 people. We also had some beautiful raffle baskets and they were really popular. Timing was fine. I'm happy with that. So we just move on to our next scene. In our example, we ran out of raffle tickets. Thus that limited how much money we could raise. 
We also didn't have enough tables and chairs for everyone and the line for the snack bar was long. So we have quite a few things here. Here's our long line for the snack bar. Now, and then raffle tickets. Let's see if we have anything about snacks. I'm gonna make a little sign this for the snack bar. So what didn't go well? Let's add our text. Now we need to arrange um, the order of these and you do that by where they're placed in the stack. So as you'll see, the bar comes on first, then what didn't go well. And right now, the long line to the snack bar, well, that's gonna be one of the last things we talk about. So that needs to go down at the bottom. And then same with its little sign and its graphic. And then we probably want not enough tables and chairs to come on before the table and chairs appear. And then ran out of raffle tickets before the tickets appear then long line of the snack bar. So ordering wise, now it's in the proper order. Let's go ahead and click our photos and do the fade. And then like the sign can be drawn on a lot faster than that. And then same with these little um, snacks. And that looks pretty good. I need to add my voice. So again, I'm just winging it. You know, this is not a super polished production. It doesn't have to be. It's just to help your team members out in the future. So once again, I'm gonna go down to the plus sign. When I'm ready, I'm gonna start speaking. So what didn't go so well? Well, we didn't have enough tables and chairs for all the people who showed up. We also ran out of tickets and that limited how much money we could raise. And there was a huge long line to the snack bar. So we had hungry players that weren't terribly happy with us. And you know, we're really close here on the timing. Again, I'm gonna add a couple seconds at the end and that should just really do it for this scene. And now we're down to the last scene. Well, what could we have done differently? We wanna focus on what changes could be made to avoid the mistakes from the previous question. So this might include things like ordering more raffle tickets, renting additional tables and chairs, or asking for volunteers to help run the snack bar. So those are gonna be our suggestions. Now this scene is going to be in our actionable advice. So it's mainly gonna be text. So we just wanna make sure these are in the right order. And we want to try and be specific here. So I added some numbers that, you know, if I were running this event, I would suggest to the future people here are the numbers we used. Here's what we wished we would have done type of thing, okay? So try and be as specific as you can so that it's helpful to them. We are almost done, guys. I just need to make these delayed a little. Let's go to show preview. What could we have done differently? Well, we could have ordered more raffle tickets. We had 1,000. They could easily have sold 2,000 of them. Okay, so this needs to be delayed probably about three seconds or so before it comes on. So I'm just going over here to the delay and adding three seconds. We had 1,000. It could easily have sold 2,000 of them. Also, rent about 10. Okay, so the delay is fine. 50 additional cheers. You have plenty of space for everyone. And then five. Okay, and I would say about four to five seconds on this one. So we're just gonna do a delay here. Let's split it, let's say four and a half, and let's just see how that works. It's for everyone. And then finally, we create some- Yeah, that's fine. The 15 student volunteers. Okay, so now we need all of this section here is gonna stay on the screen. So we could count how many seconds here. So about 16 seconds at the end of the scene. So go to scene settings and let's just type in, let's say 17 seconds and apply. And so now it's gonna be that scene while she's blabbing. And then right here, she's gonna say, I hope you have, I hope this helps, right? 
Let's pick over here. I hope this lessons learned video helps you with your future bingo event. So let's just say something like good, good luck on your thing. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's hide preview. Something like that. And then we'll add a few more seconds at the end. Let's take a quick preview and we'll be done. We held our Acme Bingo fundraiser night on March 1st, 2022. And it was a great night, but we do have some lessons that we want to share with you for future events. What went well? Well, we had an amazing turnout of 220 people. We also had some beautiful raffle baskets and they were really popular. So what didn't go so well? Well, we didn't have enough tables and chairs for all the people who showed up. We also ran out of tickets and that limited how much money we could raise. And there was a huge long line to the snack bar. So we had hungry players that weren't terribly happy with it. What could we have done differently? Well, we could have ordered more raffle tickets. We had 1,000 and could easily have sold 2,000 of them. Also, rent about 10 additional tables and 50 additional chairs so that you have plenty of space for everyone. And then finally, recruit from about 10 to 15 student volunteers to help bring the snack bar. It could be runners, they could write snacks to the tables if you wanted to do table service. And you could give them community service hours. After all, they need like 40 community service hours as part of their graduation requirement. So you'll have plenty of students willing to help. I hope this lessons learned video helps you with your future bingo event. And there you have it, how you can use Doodly to create a lessons learned video. Thanks for watching.